Hi everyone, this is the tutorial for Born With A Broken Heart. My name's Billy from Piano and Pies. Let's get stuck straight in. So this is a song that was requested by one of my patrons. More about that later. And what we have at the start of the song is a G major chord. But first, we need a capo on the fourth fret. So if you're in need of a capo, there is one in the description that you can get, which is a nice cheap one, so check that out. However, the G major chord, which starts the song, is a three on the E string. This is in reference to the capo. Two on the A, zero, 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 and a three on the top string. Now the introduction kind of is really powering through some of these chords, and because there's no real guitar part on the introduction, what we're going to do is play it. Which is down, 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 up, down, up, and you're going to do that twice for that G chord. Now at that point, the verse kicks in, and the verse starts off with that G major chord twice. We then go to a C major chord, which is three on the A string, two on the D, an open G, one on the B, and an open E string. We don't play the E string here. And what we do is we play the G twice and the C twice, like this. And what you'll do is then play all of that a second time for the first verse. Now before I show you the pre-chorus, which changes the chords up again, um, if you would like the chord chart for this, with all the chords in the correct order, as well as the chords and the lyrics matched up, let's say you want to sing along to the track, or you want to play along, and you want to make sure every chord and every word is matched up perfectly, then head on over to Patreon, Links are in the description, and you get everything raw out professionally for the cost of a coffee, and you also get access to asking for requests, which is what my patrons have done, and in fact I've got a whole load lined up, and I'm going to prioritise them over anybody else. So, feel free to check that out. However, the pre-chorus has a D major chord, which is an open D string, two on the G, three on the B, and two on the high E string. Before we go to an E minor chord. So E minor is an open E string, 2, 2 on the A and D strings, and 0 on the remaining strings. So that pre-chorus, without me talking over the top of it, is... You'll play that through a second time, and then you've got yourself the full pre-chorus. Now usually, after a pre-chorus, you get the full chorus, but what happens is it goes to a second verse, and thankfully the second verse, same as the first, where we go from G to C, and we'll play through that twice. It then goes to another pre-chorus, which is the D to the E minor, you'll do that twice, before we sustain a D chord. And then it leads into the actual chorus. So for that chorus, we have a C major chord going to D major, G major, to C major. You then repeat all of that a second time for the chorus. We're strumming the same exact pattern. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. And yeah, pretty straightforward for that. So C to D, G to C, which then all repeats again. After that, we get a post-chorus, which links us to a verse, and the post-chorus starts off with a C and a D. So, if you're one of my patrons who has the sheet and is following along with this video, you'll notice that there is tons of repetition, which I'm going to quickly go over. We have a third verse, same as the first and second, where you go from G to C. Do that once round. We then have, looking over to my notes, a pre-chorus and chorus, which is the same as what we've had before. So again, we'll just skip over that part, because we then have a bridge section. Now, the bridge section is a little bit different. We mix up the chords a little bit more. And the bridge has the E minor chord that we have seen before, but we'll start with it. We then go to C major. Then D major. 
and then we have a new chord. So yeah, um, lots of different things going on with this. A very big structure, quite a long song. So if you are interested in getting the extra material on Patreon, you'll find that, yeah, this really, really helps. Because the new chord is a B minor chord. And what we do, two frets up on the A string is play two, four, four, three, and then the barred finger on number two takes over the high E string. Bit of a tricky chord, but that is what's going to get you through the bridge. And what I'll do now is play through the full bridge once so you know what's going on without me talking over the top of it. Here we go. Play all of those chords twice for the bridge. We then get a post chorus, it's the C to the D section that we've talked about earlier, but then we get to a chorus where the key changes. And the key change, we have a D major. So it's the same strumming and whatnot, but what we have is D major. We then go to a new chord of E major. Now E major is an open E string. Two, two on the A and D, one on the G, zero, zero on the B and E. So we play D to E. We have one more new chord of A major, which is an open A string, two, two, two on the D, G and B, and then an open E string. And then the chorus finishes off with one more round of D major. So let me play through this key change chorus once round without talking. And then the last part of the song, because this is a pretty long song, we have a post chorus, but it's in the new key. So we go from D to E. You'll do that three times, and then it finishes with a nice drum of the A major chord to get you to the end of the song. Oh, there we go, lots and lots going on with that song. So yeah, feel free to check out the links on Patreon where you've got everything around because if you're anything like me, I forget everything. So I need cheats in front of me to get me through almost every song. So thanks to uh, my Patreon who requested this song. I've never heard this one before and I think this one was a really, really good one to run through. So thanks to my other Patrons as well, who the people on the screen, those are my active Patrons. So the moment that this video goes live, they will get access to that content straight away. So thanks to them for their support. Thanks to you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.